Hey there folks, Mark here on the Culinary Compass and I am in my kitchen, believe it or not, and I'm going to show you how to do something today. It's summer, that means cold soups, that means gazpacho. Now if you take a look down here, um, you will see that uh, this is literally what I just harvested out of my garden. Some tomatoes and cukes and kales and lots of herbs and zucchini. Um, what I'm going to be doing is using those items and some other things to make a gazpacho in, let's say, three to five minutes. In fact, um, it's, I'm going to say go and we're going to time it. Um, you don't need a recipe to make gazpacho. All you need are vegetables, kind of a tomato juicy thing of some type, lots of herbs, and no fear. Um, and I'm going to show you what that part's about right now. Okay. So I did cheat in that I have all my ingredients over here. So let's say we're going to add one minute on to the final count for uh, the time it took me to bring these things over here. Oh, and by the way, as far as utensils that I'm going to be using, again, just to show you how simple this all is, I'm going to have my spatula for taking things out of my Cuisinart. I'm going to have my spoon for tasting. Um, I've got my little board and uh, I've got my single knife. So we're talking about cleanup, including these four things plus my Cuisinart. Absolutely ridiculously simple. Okay, and the clock starts now. All right, I'm going to start off with some tomatoes, right? So I got a few of these tomatoes from my garden. I really hate to use some of my beauties. I'm going to save those for salad. So I only put in a couple of tomatoes. I'll put in one more. And uh, I'm not even going to clean the tops of them. This is kind of part of the deal. This is leftover from a sandwich today. That goes in. A little bit of tomato juice, brothy stuff. Uh, this is a can of peeled tomatoes. And uh, hey, I've got some Bloody Mary mix left over. No vodka in there. Let's go ahead and get that in there. All right. No measuring, friends. No measuring. The top is on. Now, I don't pulse this. You know, the, the pulse thing is when you want to keep it chunky. Tomato is the base, very liquidy. So, I'm going to let this baby run, 10 seconds. Tick, 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 tick. All right, let's check it out. Oh yeah, that baby is ground up real nice. All right, so liquid's coming off. Nice base, nice base. Oh, I saw a little hunk of tomato going in there. That'll be a little treat for somebody. All right, so now let's get some other stuff in there, right? So we got parsley. Do you notice that I'm chopping it up? No. Do you notice I'm worrying about stems? No. Why? Because here's some oregano. It's all going to get ground up. Am I peeling it? Am I mean taking it off its thing? No. Believe it or not, a little mint. Why not? I never made it with mint. We'll find out. I got some kale over here. You know, raw kale. They say it's good for you. I love it. I'm going to put some of that in here. Let's throw a couple of cukes in here. I'm gonna break one of these open. All right, that's probably enough for the moment. Oh, you know what? I got some beautiful leftover vegetables from a few nights ago. Some mushrooms, zucchini, squash. So that'll add a little depth of flavor. Mm. You're supposed to have kind of a briny flavor or a little bit of acid. I'm gonna throw in some of last year's pickles. Um, and uh, how about a little bit of acid? So a little bit of lime juice and a little bit of my leftover vinaigrette, right? Why not? I'm cleaning the kitchen out right now. So let's get the top back on. I think I'm probably over three minutes, but now I'm going to kick this on, grind up, good amount. And I'll maybe do a little pulsing. I want to keep this not, I don't want to liquefy this entirely. Come on in and take a look here. Um, come on in and you can see that, oh, there's a piece of kale. I, I don't really want to liquefy this. I want to kind of have it pretty much like this. So why don't we go ahead, let's take this out. And let's go ahead and put it in our gazpacho base. All right, now that is not even close to enough green for me. So what is one thing that is overflowing your gardens is, of course, zucchini, right? Zucchini. 
in a gazpacho? I don't know. Why not? Let's put this baby in. I'm sure I'm over three minutes, but I'm doing pretty good. Um, I think we're in good shape here. Uh, maybe a little bit more lime. I haven't even tasted, so I'm violating all the rules. Oh, salt and pepper. Nice, healthy amount of salt. I don't have my pepper mill. We'll top it with pepper later on. All right, back on. Again, I like to not have this liquefy. So, you know, I'm using, gonna use this little pulse thing going on over here. All right, come on over. Let's take a look at what this looks like. Oh yeah, other than this piece over here and this piece, we're looking really good. All right, let's get that in. The blade's coming out. We got some bigger chunks, but hey, why is that a problem? No problems. All right, let's get the blade out of there. That would be a problem. All right, let's mix this thing up. Not the best size vessel for the job, but you know, it's working. Got a lot of liquid in here, but that's good. That's good. You know, some people like theirs a little more chunky. But uh, I think you get the basic uh, basic message. All right, so it, lo it looks beautiful. I mean, this is a gorgeous color. Let's see what we got. I'm, I'm sorry. Put that into a restaurant, on a bowl, in a bowl, and I'm telling you, people will pay money for this and walk away and say they're gonna order it again next time. I did no measuring, guys. And I, I'm done. I'm done. So, I, I don't know what to say. Make frickin' gazpacho. You don't even need to spend a lot of money. And and it's so good for you, for goodness sake. A piece of bread, grilled, an Italian bread, a little olive oil on it, and you really can't do any better. So, I don't know what I came in exactly for time. Ah, uh, yes, so I went over. But, that's okay. For Mark's Culinary Compass, ciao for now.